Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. Got a viewer question here on the email from Ashish. He writes in to say, Hi Matt, of late my interest in photography is developing and I'm a beginner in photography and love to shoot pictures and want to develop interest. I have been watching your many reviews and found to be very logical and worth considering. Till now, I've been shooting with smartphone and want to move over to a DSLR for photography as a hobby. I like a better quality image photos, and that's why I want to get a decent DSLR, which doesn't compromise on image quality even when fully zoomed in, given best and proper use of the DSLR. Although I'm a beginner, I want better DSLR with a reasonable price. Therefore, I found the Nikon D7500, 7200, and 5600, or 5500, or similar. After a lot of research and readings on the internet and on YouTube videos, I'm confused between the Nikon D7500 and the D7200 since I found Nikon to be more capable as compared to other brands based on what I've been reading and watching. Does the D7500 offer as better uh, image quality as the D7200 as there is a reduction in screen resolution? Does it affect image quality? Or does image quality get offset with the improved sensor and better metering system? Thanks, uh, Ashish. Well, thank you for your question. Interesting question. Um, 7500 versus the 7200. Obviously, the 7500 is a newer camera, and a lot of people were disappointed with the update to the 7500 because honestly, it's more of a baby D500 than it is the update to the 7200. And some of the disappointment came from the fact that we were expecting to keep the resolution of the 7200 at 24 megapixels uh, instead of going down to the 20 megapixel resolution of the 7500. And we were maybe even hoping to get a boost. I know I was one of the ones thinking maybe we'd see a 30 megapixel APS-C or a DX sensor from Nikon. So to answer your question, yes, for pure resolution, the D7200 beats the 7500. However, the 7500 should beat the D7200 for high ISO, so lower light shooting and its ability to go higher on the ISO settings. It's also a better video camera. It has the uh, movable LCD and it also has the uh, 4K video availability, which is not on the 7200. So if you're into video or heavily lower light situations, the 7500 is probably to your advantage. If you don't shoot much video and you're not shooting in especially low light, the 7200 is probably the way to go and save some money. 7200 has more pure image resolution, and if I was shooting um, mostly um, photography, I would probably lean towards the 7200. If I wanted to shoot video, I would lean towards the 7500. So, you know, if you've got a split, if you're like half interested in video, half interested in photography, then have a heavy look at the 7500. If you're solely shooting photography, save some money on a 7200, maybe even a refurb, and get some additional lenses to go with it. So I'm going to throw it back to our viewers. Do you agree with what I'm saying? If you're mostly photography, go with the 72. If you're split, go with the 7500 if you want to shoot some video. And um, what would you do and why? Let us know in the comments below. Let's help out Ashish. I guess the other thing is, um, talking about comparing other things, um, I mean, the Canon system is good too. I mean, you could look at the ADD or the new M50. And certainly if you're heavily interested in video, then I would take a, a hard look as well at the ADD or the M50 um, because probably a better video setup than the 7500. So, and again, I'll throw that back to you guys. Do you agree with me? Disagree? What would you do and why? Let's help out Ashish. Thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.